In this video, I will determine the irreducible representations of the three hydrogen atoms in the uh, ammonia molecule. Uh, this ammonia molecule, NH3, has a C3 symmetry element and three sigma Vs, sigma V, sigma V prime, and sigma V double prime. And also, there's a identity symmetry element. So there are a total of five symmetry elements. But there are six symmetry operations. This is because about this C3 symmetry element, we can rotate this ammonia molecule by 120 degrees or 240 degrees. Therefore, there are two symmetry operations about this single symmetry element. Again, if the total number of symmetry operations is 6. We know the order of the C3V point group is 6. Now let's look at the three different irreducible representations. If you see A or B, uh, they have a degeneracy of 1. If you see letter E, uh, it means it has a degeneracy of 2. And if you see letters uh, like T1, T2, T1, D, T2, G, T1, U, T2, U, uh, they have a degeneracy of 3. So if you square this 1 and this 1, this 2, the 3 numbers under this identity symmetry element, if you square them and sum it up, you get a total of 6. So 1 plus 1 plus 4 equals 6. Again, the 6 is the order of the C3B point group. So now if we look at the uh, symmetry operations, if we do nothing, that is this uh, E, identity symmetry element. If we do nothing, uh, all 300 atoms will remain in their original position. So we put a number 3 here. And then what if we uh, rotate uh, this NH3 molecule about the C3 axis, either by 120 degrees or by 240 degrees? All 300 atoms will move away from their original positions. Therefore, zero ligands will remain in the original position. So we put a zero here. Uh, what about the uh, symmetry operations uh, with respect to those uh, three sigma v, sigma v prime, and sigma v, sigma v double prime symmetry planes? Uh, so no matter which one, which symmetry plane you choose, the operation will result in one of the 300 atoms remaining in its original position. So we'll put a number one here. And then we have three numbers in this row. Multiply these three numbers by the number of symmetry operations here, uh, respectively. So basically, you have three times one, you get three. Zero times two, you get zero. One times three, you get three. You get three, zero, three as the result. Uh, we're not done yet. We then multiply these three numbers with the three numbers in the row of the A1 irreducible representation. So 111 times 303, we get 303. And then we sum up the three numbers using a Excel function here, equals sum. And then the sum divided by the order of the point group, we get 1. That means the three hydrogen atoms form a A1 irreducible representation. So we do the same thing for A2. 3, 0, 3. Multiply by 1, 1, negative 1. Respectively, we get 3, 0, negative 3. Okay? And then we sum it up. We get 0, 0 divided by 6. We get 0. That means the 300 atoms does not form any A2 irreducible representation. So there's another uh, E irreducible representation with a degeneracy of 2. So again, the three numbers, 3, 0, 3, multiply by 2, minus 1, 0. Uh, 3 times 2, you, we get 6. 0 times negative 1, we get 0. And then 0 times 3, we get 0. Okay, And then we sum up the three numbers. The sum is 6 divided by the order of the point group. We get 1. That means we will be able to get a E irreducible representation. So it can be the three hydrogen atoms. It can also be the three 1s atomic orbitals.
from the 300 atoms. Again, they form this A1 irreducible representation and this E irreducible representation. Uh, why is this important? So when you have the 300 atoms or the three 1s orbitals forming this A1 irreducible representation, uh, this three 1s orbitals will interact with a atomic orbital on the nitrogen, also with an A1 symmetry. So if you think about it, uh, the 2s orbital on the nitrogen atom has an A1 symmetry. The 2pz orbital on the nitrogen atom also has this A1 symmetry. So basically you have the three 1s orbitals with the same phase, therefore totally symmetrical, interact with the 2s orbital and 2pz orbital on the nitrogen atom. Uh, what about this E? Irreducible representation uh, with a degeneracy of 2. So uh, in this case, the three 1s orbitals will interact with, if you look at this uh, irreducible representation E, uh, you have X or Y over here. So that means this three 1s orbitals will interact with the 2px and 2py atomic orbitals of the nitrogen atom.